All right, make this video more exciting by adding a different color background. It was an attempt. Okay, so factor out the greatest common factor from each polynomial. Uh, so A, we're just looking what, and we can kind of separate this out. So what is the greatest common factor of 15 and 42? Well, I know my factors of 15 are 5 and 3, and 15 and 1. 5 and 3, 5 doesn't go into 42, 42 ends in a 2, and factors of 5 end in 5s are zeros. Uh, so we have to see if it's a factor of 3. If not, then we can't factor any numbers out. Uh, it is a factor of 3. It goes into, 3 goes into 42 uh, 14 times. Yeah, 14 times. So we can factor out a 3. Okay, so I'm just finding my greatest common factor right now. So my greatest common factor for the 15 and the 42 is a 3. Uh, for the x cubed and the x, it's going to be the x, right? We take the the lowest exponent and we take that out. So it's an x. Okay, and then on the inside of the parentheses, 3x times what would give me 15x cubed? Well, I know 3 times 5 gives me the 15. And then x times x squared would give me the x cubed. So that's going to be right there. And then we figured out that 3 goes into 42 14 times. And we already have the x on the outside. So 3x times negative 14 would be the negative 42x. So that is the answer for A. For B, what goes into 12, 18, and 36? Um, so I'm going to try something. And... I'm just going to take the greatest common factor that comes to my mind for all three of these, and then I'm going to double check something when I'm done. So I see, that, I know that six goes into all three of these, so I'm going to try that. Uh, so six, and then I have a cubed, a squared, and a. A is going to be my greatest common factor. And inside, to get from 6a to 12a cubed, 6 to 12, that's a 2. a to a cubed, that's an a squared, plus 6 to 18, that is a 3, and a to a squared is an a, and then minus uh, 6 to 36 is multiplied by 6, and we already have the a. Okay, so now I'm going to just double check my parentheses. Inside of my parentheses, is there anything else that I could factor out? Well, I have a 2, a 3, and a negative 6. And while 2 and 3 both go into negative 6, 2 does not go into 3, 3 does not go into 2. So that is, I've pulled out my greatest common factor for the number. And then I have an a squared, an a, and then no a. And so that means that I've pulled out the greatest common factor for the a as well. So I can move on to c. Okay, so c I have 49, 14, 35. Um, I know 7 goes into all of those, so I'm going to take out a 7. I have a to the fifth, a squared, and a. So I can pull out an a, that's my lowest exponent. And I have a b cubed, a b squared, and a b. So b is also my lowest exponent, so I'm going to pull that out. All right, so to get from 7 to 49, I have to multiply by 7. To get a to the a to the fifth, that's a to the fourth. To get from b to b cubed, that's b squared. To get from 7 to 14, that's a 2. a to a squared, that's an a. b to b squared, that's a b plus... 7 to 35, that is a 5, and then we already have the a, we already have the b. And so we're done. Just double check. 7, negative 2, and 5, uh, no common factors there. a to the 4th, b squared, a, b, and no variables, so no common factors there. And so we know we're done. And that's it for this one.